You know, I really do hate going in on black males. Okay. I really do hate going in on white males. Okay. I really do hate going on Hispanic males. But if there is a continued trend that is realistically been part of most of people in the career world's life, there was a comment that was made. We talk in media life, subscribe, share, Mikey. It's the constant use of power for sexual exploitation. And most of the time, I said most, <laughs> there are females that use that as well. It involves a male of a higher position with a female. And when I specifically talk about guys of my own race, it's, 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 it's because of, I know that you had to probably go through a freaking lot to get into the position that you're in. And for you to just throw it away for some tail, it makes no sense. But the the historical reference of this shows that, hey, this girl probably wasn't the first instance. And he got comfortable. And then he starts to, let's go. Growing up in the city really looking up to the Pistons, the bad boys. To have this opportunity with the Pistons was like a dream come true for me. But that dream didn't last. I feel like it was like a nightmare happened and then being treated this way is heartbreaking. I can't even watch basketball. Because for her, mm. basketball is now synonymous with sexual harassment and assault and now fired Detroit Pistons assistant general manager, Rob Murphy. I'm gonna stop you there. If you thought the policemen were bad, messing with, well, you know, uh, first of all, at least this one is, is, is attractive. But if you thought the policemen were bad, okay, and, and what they did in the workplace, okay, yes, it goes on. Again, I, I saw the comment, and I agree with you. It happens everywhere in every work environment, all right? Does it mean that it's right? Does it mean that it makes sense? It doesn't. Rob Murphy, assistant general manager of a professional basketball team. Just as dumb as John ja Morant. You got to ask yourself the question here, okay? You can either play like Bill Clinton, <laughs> play like Bill Clinton, or become Bill Clinton. I mean, and in both instances, you're probably going to go through some hate and lose. The problem is most of us are not Bill Clinton. All right. All right. I know he kind of got away a little bit freely, but you can see Donald Trump's issue. Luckily, Obama had nothing that has come out yet. I put Y.E.T. Yes, I did. I got to be honest because historical reference, George Bush. Hey, no matter what you say, I don't. I didn't hear anything about George Bush. I mean, I didn't look it up, but I didn't see too much on George Bush. But you other guys, a guy is at least mid six figures, which means close to a million. I'm assuming between four hundred and six hundred thousand dollars a year makes a decision to sleep with an assistant. I've attempted to force me to have sex with him. And that's something hard to talk about. Her name is DJ Raska. She's 32 years old, a mom, a former realtor with a big heart. In fact, we first met her back in 2019 when she was collecting prom dresses for girls who couldn't afford to buy their own. It required her to be all in. I felt like this person believed in me. So Rob went ahead and talking with this woman and asked her, to go ahead and relinquish all her positions that she had. I skipped over it to save some time. She was a realtor. She did some community things. And she wanted to assume a different role. And Rob played like there was something special about her. What was special was the fact that he thought he could take advantage of her. Okay. And he saw that. His eyes green lighted. And he says, okay, I'm going to play with this thing here. All right. I'm going to offer you a position with me. With a role under me. And again, in order to get this, everything else must go away. So now 
she he forced on dependency. This is this is the material passage of somebody that's grooming. Okay, that's why I don't like this story. That's why I'm going out there. For you, I can see you hit it and quit it. Okay. Hit and quit it means don't quit all your positions. Don't do it. From what she is saying, again, I, I'm honest, right? From what she is saying, there's two sides. Rob Murphy said, quit everything, come work for me, and be reliant on me. That's grooming. That's when I have a problem. But instead of booking... Well, I had a problem anyway, let's be honest. <laughs> I have a problem with all of it, but that, that makes it even worse. Flights or answering emails or setting up meetings, this executive assistant says she became Rob Murphy's Look, personal no right assistant, to assigned to pick up his teenage son every day uh -huh. from school. To make it my full responsibility and my only responsibility, uh, that's a 45-minute drive every day. Of uh, baby, don't don't go there, okay? Don't say that like that's hard work while being a, a true executive of a team to go pick up a teenager. However, the role doesn't fit what she expected to be in the organization. You know, dropping someone else's child off, being responsible for a teenager that I wasn't ready to be responsible so for. So she was a nanny. Alaska, a single mom with a child of her own, says she was put in charge of her boss's son. Punish her for her... Look at these guys. Most visible benefits is having the confidence to look at her outfit i was told quote you look like you're going to a club by hr you look like you're about to go club. let's go ahead Hunting raska she says rob murphy was likable and supportive giving career advice uh -huh. one day and belittling her the next uh -huh. he made statements not only to myself but to another colleague about me that HR didn't want me there. Nobody wanted me there. My job was going to be given to a person who had a higher education than I did. Um, that HR thought I was ghetto. And that without him, I wouldn't have the position. Raska says she felt Grooming. isolated. The one and only time human yes, resources mom. had ever approached her about anything was to admonish her for her outfit. I was told, quote, you look like you're going to a club by HR. Yes. You look like you're about to go club it. Raska says well, she knew she couldn't go to human resources with her concerns about Murphy. It was definitely the verbal first, and then it led to the uh, physical. Some of the physical happening right at the practice facility, sometimes at his house. He grabbed right in front of my daughter and grabbed. The red flag, darling, that I have with you, I got to be honest with you, okay? Just being judgmental, and I got to be honest. All right? and a, woman can, a woman will agree with me as well, I believe. The fact that you worked underneath him at an executive position, you were picking up his kid and babysitting them, and you had to meet him at his house, that's already a non-go in any professional job which you have had. So, in my opinion, after he groomed you, you allowed him to lead you on. Now, you may have been in the moment and not been able to think. However, if he has a lawyer, he's going to easily flip this around to you not highlighting or going to somebody with your problems now i just heard hr appeared to be on his side and wrapped up so if she felt like she had nowhere to go that's understood but truthfully everyone knows that's a lawsuit with a lawyer for anyone that doesn't know what to do you get a lawyer and this is easy easy kill my um breast area and grab my crotch area and said this is going to be mine one day even then, she says she couldn't tell HR. My main concern and fear that I would be fired, without a doubt, fired in silence. Because what was happening, Raska says, was way worse than she could have imagined. Remember, she was assigned to stay overnight while Murphy was out of town. Mm. He had came home at a time where he said he was going to be out of town. And things had escalated into a space where I was extremely uncomfortable. We were standing there in the doorway of his office, and he grabbed me, and he kissed me in the mouth, and he was like, hey, do you want to sneak downstairs? And I'm just like, no, I'm okay. I'm I'm good. Like, Rob, definitely don't want to do that. And he was like, I want to put a baby inside of you. Raska says she locked her. <laughs> the typical, sad, horny man behavior. Remember, before Epstein, there was, is it Weinstein? No, it's Jeffrey Epstein. There's another dude, another Hollywood dude, a big, big guy. The big, big, I think he, I think he's, I don't want to say what his descent is, but he appears to be the same, same descent as Epstein, 
Why Harvey Weinstein? Harvey Weinstein. There's tape of that guy. That guy was a dog. I mean, another guy using his power. That's why I hate power. Power roles in men shouldn't have to use this to be able to get a woman. It is a recipe for disaster. And no offense, some of those guys are very intelligent. They worked real hard to get there. For you to throw that all away, no, no offense to women and no offense to men, for some 20 minutes of pleasure, I have no clue, but let's continue. I digress. Self in another bedroom and left early the next day and repeatedly told Murphy she wasn't interested. Still, she was assigned to stay with his son, and again, he showed up unexpected. He tried to force me to engage in sex with him at, at his house, and it was forceful, and it was to the point where I had to gain my strength mentally emotionally and physically to get myself out of that situation. Raska says she told him she was on her period, that she didn't want this. He's just like, you just think too much, you know, you just need to let stuff happen. Um, this okay, typical things men do when the woman's not attracted, because if she likes you, she'll just be down to go. In particular, urged her to speak up. We're both in tears talking about it she's like dj you okay. Raska says she confided in other co-workers because she didn't want it to happen to them okay. one in particular urged her to speak up we're both in tears talking about it she's like dj you have to you have to say something this he has to be stopped and in that sit down i realized that i was going to be the person to stop him Raska says she started working from home, stopped picking up Murphy's son from school. A young female equipment manager was assigned to do that instead. Raska and the Pistons parted ways, but Murphy continued to text her. And then he had big news. Pistons general manager Troy Weaver, a longtime friend of Rob Murphy, appointed Murphy assistant general manager of the Pistons. He continued to call and text, and then in August, I guess, when he got the promotion as a GM, he sent me a link to... Um, the website to show that he had been promoted. Raska says she continued. Wow. You see how you see how he fucked up his life. Again, the guy was probably very intelligent. I believe Harvey Weinstein was intelligent. Some of certain things he was saying. I, I guess there's not an abundance of women, guys. I mean, I gotta say this with honest heart. You know, the passport bros and the red pill and the manosphere. I did make fun of it. I'm not going to lie to you. I said, man, what the hell are you guys talking about? But I'm starting to see there is a numbers problem. There is. And the advantage served has to be to the woman. For a guy of this level to struggle in the NBA with the amount of groupies there. Or could have been <laughs> machismo. I want it all, but can't have it all. There's, there's guys like that, you know, that get it, but still want more. But to ruin it. After coming up for a dream job, after you, you know, when you can't make the NBA, the next step is, yeah, be in some type of facilitation with the NBA, but he had a decision maker role. I mean, you to ignore him, but could guys, not man. ignore what he had done. That's when I had to realize, like, this is not okay. This is not typical. A man hitting on you, a man being interested in you. This is a man using his power to abuse, harass, and assault oh, you. This is not okay. God. Raska eventually contacted attorney Megan Bonani, there, whose there clients was. include survivors. Took too long. Took too long, but she finally got an attorney. That's all you need to do. So former MSU doctor Larry Nassar. MSU we doctor. We contacted the organization. We presented her concerns. We, we gave them a list Scared. of what happened. And we asked them to investigate. You don't want to mess with her. You can look in at In October it. of 2022, the Pistons suspended Rob Murphy, citing an investigation into misconduct involving a former female employee. When I did hear that he was suspended, I felt liberated. Raska even sat for an interview for two hours with the Pistons' attorneys. I was informed that uh, the interview with DJ was helpful and that she appeared to be credible. But since that time in October, we have heard nothing. Raska has since taken a lie detector test that she passed with flying colors. Lord we want transparency. Hell, we want accountability. And that's why I did the story, guys. When a woman does a lie detector test and it comes out to be true, I got to believe in something. And that's why I believe and put this story out there. I know I try to help men out, but in this case, the men is wrong and it's a learning lesson. There's nothing at all worth more than your career, your job, your moolah, your paper.
Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Nothing as far as outside of your family, God, right? Okay. Nothing. Nothing more important than that. To ruin it over somebody you don't know. I'm going to be straight and frank. I'm done. All right. You got places you can go where you can pay for it. If you're that freaking desperate, go to Las Vegas. I give up. I mean, I don't tell men. Woman, go to Las Vegas. You know, go have fun there. I don't understand what's going on where we have to go into the workplace, right? Especially somebody's paying you to do work. And the main thing you're thinking about is, man, how can I get that tail? I can see you seeing a woman and saying she's attracted. There's nothing wrong with that. But to go to the depths of abusing her in the workplace and taking advantage of your authority just makes shit uncomfortable. It doesn't make sense to me. So on this Mother's Day, we got to shout out this woman for, for getting out there and really showing what it really was. And now we give a learning lesson to males. It just isn't worth it. It doesn't make sense. There's only four and a half billion eligible women out there, probably. Maybe two and a half billion in his age range. Is this the only thing you had to do to ruin your 500 to 700,000 a year salary? I'm going to leave it at that, man. Your boy Mikey, we talking media, just speaking facts. Let me know your thoughts below. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. This is America, Second Amendment right. You know, your job can't mess with you with this either. They're just going to say this is his opinion. This is the way it is. Leave your thoughts below, man. How stupid can a man be? This is specifically about the man to ruin their career over this. Makes no sense. I'm out of here. Peace.